Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Today is Monday. Today we will review all of our sight words. We don't have any new ones this week. We are into the review weeks. We'll review sight words, sounds, punctuation. We'll count the days, and then we're going to talk about butterflies. So I hope you are ready for a great day. So let's go ahead and get started. Are you ready? Here we go. May 4th, 2020. Good morning. Today is Monday. We must wash our hands. How can you show someone you love them? It will be a great day. I can and I will love Mrs. Forrester. I want to talk about our green sentence. How can you show someone you love them? How can you show someone you love them? What could you do for them? Could you write them a picture? Write them a picture. Could you draw them a picture? Could you write them a letter? Could you give them a big hug if they're in your house? What could you do? The day that we celebrate moms and aunts and grandmas is on Sunday, okay? So in a couple of days. So I want you to think about how you can show your grandma, your aunt, your mom, how you love them and maybe write them a letter, draw them a picture, try to do it secretly and give it to them on Sunday or give, them to, give it to them when you're finished, okay? Alrighty, let's go ahead and talk about sight words because I do see two sight words from fourth quarter on the board. I see two of them. I see this word right here. What is this word? Do you remember? This word is R. Yes, everybody say it. Everybody spell it. O-U-R. Do you see our on the board? Do you see it? Me too. Yeah, it's right after wash. I wrote in pink, we must wash our hands, right? It's super important, especially right now with this virus that we're washing our hands and we sing happy birthday and we scrub, scrub, scrub real good. Okay, now the next new word on the board, maybe you're telling me it at home, but we also have this one. Do you know what this word is? Yeah, good. It's must. Everybody, what's this word? Everybody spell it. M-U-S-T, must. Must is right after we. Must is right after we. Good. Now, I know we have some old sight words from first and second quarter on there and third quarter. Was Will a fourth quarter word? If we see Will in here, we'll circle it. I can't remember if Will is a fourth quarter word. I'm pretty sure it is. But for now, those are going to be the ones that we circle. Okay, are you ready to review all of the fourth quarter words? Let's go. Ears on. Must. Must. M-U-S-T. Must. Our. Our. O-U-R. Our. Saw. Saw. S-A-W, saw. Remember, saw is the past tense of see. So I, if I went to the store and you were also there last week, I couldn't say, I see you at the store. I would say, I saw you at the store because it was in the past. It happened last week. Under, under, U-N-D-E-R, under. Into, into. I-N-T-O, into, new, new, N-E-W, new, funny, <laughs> funny, <laughs> F-U-N-N-Y, funny, ride, ride, R-I-D-E, ride, down, down, D-O-W-N, down, get, get, G-E-T, get, jump, jump, J-U-M-P, jump, she, she, S-H-E, she, will, it is one, will, W-I-L-L, -L, will. We'll circle it in just a minute. 
find, find, F-I-N-D, find. Little, little, L-I-T-T-L-E, little, little. Eat, eat, E-A-T, eat. Now, now, N-O-W, now. Good, good, G-O-O-D, good. Couple more. Please, please, P-L-E-A-S-E, -E. please, say, say, S-A-Y, say. All right, repeating ears off. All right, let's review, or let's go back. Will, I forgot about it when I pulled the words that I saw on the board, but will is a fourth quarter word. It will be a great day. I can and I will. There we go. We got all the new fourth quarter words. I know that there's lots of uh, first, second, and third quarter words, but we're not going to take time to circle them today, okay? Alrighty, let's keep it going. Um, let's talk about punctuation. Punctuation. Remember, punctuation goes at the end of a sentence and tells your reader that you have stopped that thought. You have stopped talking, right? So what is this punctuation mark called, friends? Mm -hmm. I hear you saying it. It's a period. Good, a period. Remember, a period is just when we are talking, right? We're just stating it. We're not really yelling it. We're not Maybe we're not excited. Maybe we are, but we're just saying today is Monday, right? That's where I see my first period. I see it up here after Monday. Do I have another period, friends? I don't. No other periods at the end of sentences. I know this one down here, but we're going to focus on the about the period or at the end of the sentences. All right, what's this guy called? Yes, this is a question mark. Remember, we use question marks when we ask questions. What are you doing? How are you doing? Can I help you? Today I asked, how can you show someone you love them? And then I pushed you to show your mom, your grandma, or your aunt how you love them. Because Mother's Day, the day we celebrate moms and all of those people, aunts, grandmas, is on Sunday, right? So we asked one question today. How can you show someone you love them? All right, last one. What is this guy called? Yes, it is an exclamation point. Everybody say that one because it's kind of hard to say. Exclamation point. Good. Remember, this is the one where we are excited, right? Or we're being loud or we've got a lot of oomph in our sentence, right? When we would write our morning message for our morning work, on the whiteboard, a lot, some of us would want to say, today is Monday, with an exclamation point. And some of us would just say, today is Monday, right? So let's find all of the exclamation points, because there's a lot today. We have one after this word, hands. We have one after day. And we have one after will. Good stuff. Okay, got them all circled, got it. Okay, before we jump into, nope, we're gonna keep rolling. Okay, on Friday, it was day 33. So on Friday, I had three bundles of 10. It doesn't help if I cover them. Let me pull them out because they're not all facing the same. So I had one, two, three bundles of 10, 10, 20, 30, and then I also had three single straws. One, two, three, right? I had three single straws in my ones cup, and I had three bundles in my tens cup. So now today would be day what? If Friday was day 33, today would be day 30, yes, day 34. So where should my green pencil go? Into the tens bucket? No, you guys are good. Into the ones bucket? 
Yeah, into the ones bucket. He is a single pencil. So now we have four singles and still three bundles, making 34. Let's talk about these pencils for a minute. I have one pink, one green. That's not green, friends. <laughs> I have one pink, one orange, one green, and one purple. Which one do I have more of? Which one do I have the most of? Oh, they're all the same? What's the math word for same? Equal. Yes, they are all equal, and I can kind of make an equal sign with the pencils right now. Kind of. Well, there we go. I want to know which one I have less of. Do I have less purple, less green, less orange, or less pink? You're right. They're still equal. Good job, friends. I cannot trick you. All righty. Keep it rolling. All right, let's talk about our letter sounds. Now, when we get to a vowel, remember vowels are A, E, I, O, and U. When we get to vowels, we're gonna say their short and their long name. Now, I have to remember to do that because we've never done that before. And there's no one here to remind me. So hopefully, I can do it. Hopefully you can do it. I know you can do it. I'm more worried about me. Okay, are you ready? Ears are on. H, ha, hat. G, ga, game. J, ja, jug. D, da, dog. S, s snake. N, nut. T, ta, top. P, pa, pan. V, va, van. R, er, rat. L, la, lamp. M, mm, man. B, ba, bat. A, a, apple. And A, a. I can't think of a word with, that starts with A off the top of my head. So A and A. Good job. C, ka, cat. E, a, ad. A, and E. Y, ya, yellow. O, a, uh, octopus. O and a. Uh. You, a, uh, up. You and a. Uh. I, I, itch. I and I. X, x, fox. K, k, kite. F, f, fun. Q, qu, queen. Z, z, zebra. Last one, W, w wind. Ears off, repeating ears off. Good job, friends. And we didn't forget any of the vowels. Alrighty, if we were at school this week, we would be learning about butterflies. We would be learning about butterflies. And in our actual classroom, we would have caterpillars that would turn into butterflies, okay? But unfortunately, we don't get to do that this year. But that's okay, we're still gonna talk about butterflies. We're gonna still talk about their life cycle, okay? So butterflies don't start out as butterflies. They don't, they start out as, well, technically they start out as something else. Then they turn into a caterpillar. So let's, let me share my screen with you. And I, I'm super excited about what this thing that I created. I was gonna print all these pieces off and try to get them like to like tape them to the board, but that didn't seem very, I was gonna have to reuse a lot of tape and I already have these printed at school. So it just seemed very wasteful for our earth. So I drug them into a PowerPoint and I should be able to drag them onto the slide and then we'll have the butterfly life cycle, okay? So I want you to think back to when we talked about frogs. Think back in your mind. Close your eyes and think back. 
we did this at home. I read you a story. We did a couple worksheets. What else? Okay, so we're in the frog mindset. What did the frog start out as? Hey, remember in the life cycle? I think I hear some of you saying it at home. Yeah, it started out as an egg, as an egg. So the butterfly starts out the same exact way. He starts out as an egg, just a little baby egg. Then from that egg comes a what? What do you think comes from that egg? I'm sorry, let me back up just a second. I got ahead of myself. You're probably seeing these pictures at the top of the screen and wondering what they all are. And I should tell you what they are before I ask you what comes next. So first we have an emerging butterfly. So we have a little butterfly. His wings look a little crumpled. We're gonna talk about that. And he's hanging on to this thing called a chrysalis. Can you say chrysalis? Good. And then we have a hanging caterpillar and he's kind of hanging down like a J. Um, and he's hanging from a branch or a stick. Then we, of course, have a butterfly. And then we have a chrysalis. We're going to talk about what that is. And then we have the caterpillar, okay? And we got to put these in order because they're not in order right now. They are all mixed up. So we just started with the egg. And if you look real close on that leaf, you can see some little circles. And those are the caterpillar eggs. So what comes out of the egg? Does a butterfly come out of the egg? No. What comes out of the egg, friends? A caterpillar? Yeah. And it's just, it's this caterpillar on a stick. He's just hanging out. He's walking around. Um, think about the hungry caterpillar at this stage, right? Then after a while, after he grows and gets a little bit bigger, he's going to go into the next phase. Do you have any guesses? Go ahead and look at the top. Do you have any guesses as to what might he might turn into. There's a chrysalis, there's a butterfly, there's a hanging caterpillar, and there's an emerging butterfly. Yeah, it would be that hanging caterpillar. Good thinking, friends. So after a while, the caterpillar decides that it is time for him to start becoming a butterfly. He's big enough now, he's had enough to eat. So he situates himself on a branch. If we were in the classroom, it would be the lid of the little cup that they live in. Um, so he situates himself on the branch and then gets into this little J figure, okay? He turns into a J. Well, he turns into a hang hanging caterpillar that looks like a J. Then which one do you think he turns into next? Does he go from this hanging caterpillar to a butterfly? No. Does he come out, does he go into the emerging butterfly stage? Not just yet. He has to form his chrysalis first, his chrysalis. So what that means is he's hanging and then he forms this outer shell type thing. And it's, ha it's hard and it protects him so that he can morph into a butterfly in this chrysalis. Sometimes it's, I've heard it called a cocoon before too. Um, so he's, the caterpillar is in there now, okay? Um, if I would have thought about it, I would have had pictures ready from last year to show you because um, I took a lot of pictures of them in the classroom, but that's okay. We'll just use this. Um, on the choice board that I send out, there's a video. There's a couple videos about this. So this is the chrysalis. So the caterpillar is in there, okay? He's in there and he's getting ready to become a butterfly. So of our choices that are left, what do you think? Do you think it's an emerging butterfly or a butterfly? Yes, it's an emerging butterfly, okay? So that comes next. So when the butterfly comes out, his wings are a little damp. He's still probably a little sleepy he's got to adjust from being a caterpillar to now being a butterfly. So during this phase, we would have moved them to a bigger area. Some of the teachers have nets. I have these plastic boxes um, that they would be in and we would have oranges in the bottom of the box so that they could eat and get a little bit stronger. 
And then once we saw that their wings were strong and had opened up and dried out, they would then be a butterfly, right? They would go from emerging butterfly to a butterfly. And that's not very long. It's not very long at all. So then he would be a butterfly and we would open the box outside and release them into the world. So that is the life cycle of a butterfly. There's eggs that turn into a caterpillar. That caterpillar goes into a hanging caterpillar, which then forms a chrysalis, a protective coat kind of, um, a hard shell around the caterpillar to protect him while he morphs into a butterfly. Then he becomes an emerging butterfly. So he comes out of the chrysalis, but he's not quite ready. His wings have to open up and dry out. And then once that happens, he is, um, he is a, I mean, when he comes out of the chrysalis, he's a full butterfly. Um, and then he really is a butterfly at the end. Okay, so that is the life cycle of a butterfly or of a caterpillar and a butterfly. I think we call it the butterfly life cycle. So that's what happens. In our classroom, we would have had painted lady butterflies. So if you're interested, I uh, on the choice board that I'll send out, there's a, I think it's for today. It's either for today or Wednesday. There's a painted lady butterfly time lapse. It's about three to five minutes and you see it go from, I don't think there's eggs. I think it starts out as little itty bitty caterpillars. So they go from caterpillars all the way to a butterfly. Okay. It's a really cool process. Um, I can remember last year one during class, I think it was like math or maybe we were actually talking about the butterflies. They, one of them came out of the chrysalis and the kids got to watch it. It was super, super cool. So that is the butterfly life cycle. We're going to spend some time this week talking about it. Um, I'll be sure to save this so we can come back to it as the week progresses. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun learning about butterflies and circling some old, or not old, some fourth quarter sight words. I will see you tomorrow. Um, yeah, that's all I have to say. Have a great day. The sun is out. Hopefully it's not too chilly. I'm going to take my dog for a walk sometime soon and I will see you tomorrow. Have a super great, awesome little red bird Monday, as Miss Porter would say. Goodbye, friends.